to our house tour. But first, I want to show you our little outdoor area. So this furniture, I'm going to link everything down below for you guys. I love this furniture. We bought this sofa and chair, gosh, probably two years ago now. And this is from um, CB2. Coffee table here, we actually got it from Amazon for only like 60 bucks. The only thing I want to do in this space is I would like to hang just either a mirror here or a piece of art or something, but I haven't found anything yet. This planter I actually did build. It was pretty easy to do. It was Google just design plans for how to build like a, a raised flower bed box. And these are just made out of pine boards that you would have for like a side fencing. And then I just built this little trellis on top as well. But I love that it adds a little bit of greenery and I usually have my jasmine growing here. It's coming in bloom right now, as you can see. So just adds a little more greenery. So come on in. And if you guys hear little pitter patters, it's Anjo's feet. So living in 750 square feet means that you have to try to maximize every bit. Everything has a purpose. So right here, as soon as you come in, this is where my little desk is. Eventually I want to swap this out for a longer uh, piece because this serves as like our entryway table as well as my desk. I just need something a little bit longer and functional and I haven't really found anything yet so I'm on the hunt right now. So when we first moved in this was actually not here. We added this in and we added a media console. This is just a Billy bookcase that we actually put up on top and I want to add some more molding and thicken the shelves a little bit give them a nice lift but that's a future project. Okay, so moving over to our mantle, I'm gonna take this out and I'm actually gonna reconfigure the look of the mantle. This, this is actually just painted tile. This is the original tile to the house. So I'm gonna swap it out and do some really nice tile down here around the hearth. And then eventually here, my plan is actually to put in a nice little window seat. I think Angel would love just to sit up here during the day and get some sun. And then this little plant, I actually, it was huge. I trimmed it down. It needs to be moved, but it loves being in the spot, and that's part of why I don't want to move it, because because it gets so happy here. Let me fluff. <laughs> we originally had the sofa over here, and it works for the space, but because we had the TV over the mantle, it just made it really difficult to watch TV. So we ended up moving it here, and it works really nicely here. I sewed a slip cover for the sofa, by the way, out of a drop cloth, and I will tell you guys, it's so nice because whether the dog was on it or whatever happens to it, you could just take it off and wash it, and it's so easy to maintain. And eventually, I wanna get two chairs here. This coffee table is from Pottery Barn. Love, love, love it. So this dining table I actually made and I have a tutorial on it and I can link that down below. First, I'm gonna swap out this light. I know how beautiful it is, but we're gonna swap it out. And I wanna do two woven pendants. I'm going to swap out this art and then I'm also gonna put in a banquette with lots of storage on this side. All right, moving on to our kitchen, the heart of the home. This kitchen needs some work. I think besides this, kitchen and the bathroom is definitely going to require the most work but I think specifically the kitchen because I have some plans for it. I want to take this out and put in a beautiful marble countertop. We've replaced all of the appliances in here so we probably won't do anything with that but I am going to replace all the door fronts as well. Um, I want to just do like a very clean white shaker style look. I think I'm just going to do a beadboarding backsplash. I love 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 that look and I think it'll fit very nicely with this space. And then I also want to add some molding around a lot of the window sills and the tops of a lot of surfaces here because there isn't very good molding in this house. Like our baseboards are really small. There isn't any molding around the windows. So I'm gonna add all that, add a little more character to the space. We originally had a microwave here and I actually pulled it out and I installed this and I will say it already looks so much better, but I'm gonna take it to the next level and put a nice beautiful hood range over this. I'm gonna take the fridge and move it over to where it flush mounts here. And then I'm gonna put in a nice pantry here. And I also wanna put our wonderful giant grinder in there, coffee grinder as well. And then maybe put the espresso machine in there and have it be like our little coffee bar. And then again, just all new door fronts. I think that'll make the space just already feel so much more updated, old hardware. I think it'll be beautiful. I'm gonna swap out this fluorescent light for a couple cans. And I think that will be about it in this space, but it's a lot of work. Oh, I also want to add some beautiful shiplap to the ceiling as well and create a little bit more texture and so your eye goes up. So I think this kitchen is going to look amazing once it's done. Right now, it's okay. 
So this is our teeny tiny little tiny little laundry room in here. Um, I think eventually we'll swap this out maybe for like a washer and dryer in one. Let me know if you guys have used those at all. And I haven't fully convinced Damien that that's the answer, but I actually think it would serve this small space perfectly. And then that way we could do lots of shelving and I'd love to do a fun wallpaper in here. Because it's a small space, I think it would be such an ideal place to do something fun and then just lots of shelving and storage I eventually want to add in here but for right now that has not happened. So my goal for this bathroom is just to really make it feel luxury even though it's small. So my plan is to rip out the tub and hey hi mister. My plan is to rip out the tub and put in like a frameless shower door enclosure as well. For the vanity, I plan on replacing this and getting something with more storage and then just doing lots of marble throughout. Replacing this flooring as well. We have this laminate that runs throughout, but I want to replace this for more of a marble look. I think just doing those things will make it feel so much more luxury. So that's my plan for this bathroom. Okay, so moving on to the bedroom here. I might change out the bedding. I might paint it a different color. I haven't quite decided for this space. I might add some grass cloth to the walls just to add some little more texture. Yeah, I haven't quite decided for this space yet, so stay tuned for that. One more thing I forgot to mention is all of our curtains that you guys see are actually a tutorial that I did a couple years ago now and they're just ikea panels that i pinch pleated i have them throughout our whole space all right well thank you guys so much for watching this house tour i know it's spring so i have spring favor to get a lot of projects done and i'm excited to share all of that with you guys if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss videos because i make new videos every single week all right i'll see you guys next week bye